today i am going to discuss solubility product and ionic product in this lesson we are going to learn solubility product and ionic product in detail and difference between them so let's get started solubility product and ionic product solubility product is related to saturated solution but ionic product is related to any concentration saturated solution is a must for solubility product but for ionic product any concentration is enough again for both the items one common thing that is weak electrolyte solubility product and ionic product is applicable for weak electrolytes not strong electrolytes now let us enter into the matter suppose this is saturated solution of silver chloride silver chloride is a kind of sparingly soluble salt a kind of weak electrolyte so this is saturated solution of silver chloride as this is a kind of weak electrolyte it establishes an equilibrium state with its ions silver ion and chloride ion this is a kind of reversible process for reversible process according to law of mass action we can write equilibrium constant k is equal to product of the concentrations of the products silver ion times chloride ion product of the concentrations of the products divided by concentration of reactant then we can write constant times concentration of silver chloride by cross multiplication is equal to concentration of silver ion times concentration of chloride ion this is constant now let us see about silver chloride concentration of silver chloride is considered constant because this is a kind of weak electrolyte so dissociation of silver chloride is considered negligible that is why concentration of silver chloride is considered constant as silver chloride is a kind of weak electrolyte its dissociation is considered negligible that is why concentration of silver chloride is considered constant then a new constant this is constant concentration of silver chloride is constant so we can write a new constant term ksp which is actually solubility product solubility product is equal to concentration of silver ion times concentration of chloride ion this ksp is termed 
solubility product so here solubility product is the product of the concentrations of the products of the solute at a particular temperature now suppose this is solution of silver chloride which is not saturated or which is actually any concentration may be saturated may not be saturated this is not known in this case we will get ionic product same thing product of the concentrations of the products this is ionic product of silver chloride when its concentration is not known when this is not saturated solution then we will get ionic product but when this is saturated solution then we will get solubility product so difference is for solubility product solution will be saturated solution and for ionic product solution will be of any concentration let us see some more examples a kind of weak electrolyte calcium fluoride as this is a kind of weak electrolyte it establishes an equilibrium state with its ions calcium 2 plus ion and fluoride ions in this case solubility product will be product of the concentrations of the products concentration of calcium 2 plus times concentration of another product this one this coefficient will be as power this is solubility product for calcium fluoride then ionic product for calcium fluoride will be same product of the concentrations of the products but solubility product for saturated solution of calcium fluoride and ionic product for any concentration of calcium fluoride again weak electrolyte aluminium sulfate this one as this is weak electrolyte it establishes an equilibrium state with its ions two aluminium ion in this molecule two aluminium atoms so two aluminium ion plus three sulfate ion so here solubility product for aluminium sulfate will be product of the concentrations of the products aluminium 3 plus this coefficient will be as power times concentration of sulfate ion this coefficient will be as power again ionic product for aluminium sulfate same thing concentration of aluminium ion this coefficient will be as power times concentration of sulfate ion this coefficient will be as power so this is solubility product for aluminium sulfate this is ionic product for aluminium sulfate now let us define solubility product and ionic product solubility product is defined as at a particular temperature for 
saturated solution of weak electrolyte solubility product is the product of the concentrations of the products and concentration of each ion is raised to the power of its coefficient in the balanced equation of the solute in its saturated solution now definition of ionic product of weak electrolyte ionic product is defined as at a particular temperature for solution of weak electrolyte at any concentration ionic product is product of the concentrations of the products and concentration of each ion is raised to the power of its coefficient in its balanced equation at any concentration at a particular temperature so solubility product and ionic product solubility product is for saturated solution ionic product is for any concentration this is for a particular temperature this is also for a particular temperature now let us see some differences between them differences between solubility product and ionic product number 1 definition that has been given already solubility product and ionic product number 2 solubility product is for saturated solution ionic product is for any concentration number 3 solubility product is specific for specific compound solubility product is specific for specific compounds for example solubility product for silver chloride this is 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 10 this is at 25 degree celsius temperature solubility product for silver chromate this is 1.1 times 10 to the power minus 13 solubility product for zinc hydroxide this is 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 17 so solubility product is specific for specific compound but ionic product varies with concentration ionic product varies with concentration furthermore when solubility product is equal to ionic product for any compound in this case the solution will be saturated solution but when ionic product is greater than solubility product then precipitation will occur when ionic product is less than solubility product then the solution will be unsaturated solution differences between
solubility product and ionic product. No more today. Thank you very much.